and welcome to my YouTube video on my makeup routine. So obviously I'm filming this totally fresh faced, bare faced with no makeup on at all. Um, but I've had loads of requests from my Insta stories wanting to know my routine of how I apply, how I apply my makeup and what makeup I use. Just to warn you now, any professionals watching this will be cringing through the next 10, 20 minutes because I literally, Millie, who's sat behind this camera now filming, is wetting herself because when she messaged me saying, I don't think you've allowed enough time to film this video. She was like, how long does it take you to apply your makeup? 15, 20 minutes? She was like, that takes how long I do my eyebrows. So I am a little bit, um, not slap happy, but obviously I do not apply this professionally. I literally just have my little bits that I do in the morning and you're about to see the extent of my makeup bag and how I apply it, where I apply it. Apologies now for if you're cringing going, oh my gosh, she really shouldn't be doing it like that because this is just how I do it. So enjoy watching. So I start my makeup routine every single time with this By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum. I just put two pumps into my hand and I literally apply it like a moisturiser and it's just got this really subtle glow. So if you're going to the gym and you don't want to wear makeup, you could wear this alone. So the next product I always apply is this uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury and the two colours I use are number three which is light medium and number five which is tan. Basically apply, you're probably watching this thinking oh my god just dab it but I just put the lighter one on those areas and then the slightly darker one just underneath and this all gets blended in with my foundation. You'll all know I love my La Prairie Skin Caviar Foundation. It's my favourite one. I have used it for donkey's years. And I've tried loads of other stuff, um, but this is still my favourite one. I've also tried, and I've got this to show you, the new Giorgio Armani one, which I do really like, but this one's still my favourite. Now I literally just apply the tiniest amount on a brush, and I'm gonna to talk to you about the brush in a moment, and I just quickly, how quick I do my makeup, it doesn't take me long. Rub, basically blend the Hollywood filter into my face with the brush and the foundation. And this foundation, although it's expensive, it lasts me a good six months to a year. The colour I use is Mocha, but obviously you need to get colour matched with an expert. So that's the foundation and then the other one that I've really started quite uh, using is this Giorgio Armani Designer Lift for an ageing skin. Um, but I do like the consistency of this, it's quite similar to the La Prairie, I don't find it as luxurious as the La Prairie but it is a fraction of the price so this is another good one to try. I've just put a tiny little bit off you so you can see again and I love the, the texture and the consistency of this one. I'd say it's a little bit more um, thicker, so probably better for a night out. And the brush that I use, I swear by, I'm going to show you a clean one, is the Zoeva and it is a 102 silk finish. Now, I don't know if it is a foundation brush, but this is the brush I always use to apply my foundation. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't personally use your fingers, I find a sponge soaks it up too much, so this brush is absolutely brilliant. So once I've got the foundation base on, I then apply, if it's if I've not slept very well, or I've got bags, I'll then apply some concealer just underneath my eyes, like so, and I do use my finger for that, so that's probably the only product I would use my finger for, just because I like the way how I can get right in. And this particular one is a MAC one, and the colour is NC25 Studio Finish Concealer and that's what I use just underneath my eyes and if I had a spot or something like that then I'd probably use it there. But yeah. Now I like a dewy skin um, but I, I do get a lot of abuse especially on YouTube um, for being shiny and dewy so I actually bought, this is going to go everywhere, um, this powder which is uh, by Terry 
it's a hydrolonic I can't even say that um, powder and what I do is I just put a tiny bit on a brush and then literally just quickly put it all over my face and it just takes your skin from being that little bit shiny to a little bit more matte so that is the by Terry I can't even say it's Hyl hyaluronic hydro powder and it's basically like a matting powder and it's totally colorless but it just obviously matches your face slightly okay so next I then pencil in my eyebrows now obviously I have had because you probably would have seen the YouTube video and um, my eyebrows microbladed but once I've applied my mascara at uh, mascara foundation I find that I just need to gently go over my eyebrows just to give them that little bit more depth in colour. But the brilliant thing about having microblading is you just follow the line that's already there. So it makes putting on your eyebrows in the morning so much easier because you've got that shape there to follow. Now the product I use for this is um, Urban Decay Brow Beater Micro Fine Brow Pencil and Brush. And then what I do is I then, once I've done my eyebrows, I just go over them just to kind of blend in any lines and just give them a little bit of shape. So once I've put my base on, um, I've put my concealer on, my foundation, I've done my eyebrows, I personally don't contour. I should contour to give myself some cheekbones, but I don't have time in the morning to do the whole contouring thing. Millie is sitting behind the, account, behind the camera smiling because she's like contour queen. I haven't got a clue. I'm like sucking in my cheekbones trying to find it. But what I have found is this, I really, really like this. And I've only recently, probably a couple of months ago, purchased this. And this is the Giorgio Armani. Um, it's like a bronzer and it's called Neo Nude. It's, I think it's quite new. And basically I use this with a little kabuki brush and instead of kind of contouring my face like I should do I literally just put it on my cheekbones on the tops of my nose underneath my chin and the top of my forehead so kind of the areas that whenever I have my makeup done professionally they contour I do that but just not professionally and properly so I'm really sorry for anyone watching this cringing at me but Look, you wanted to know how I do my makeup, I'm showing you. So the next, because I like a bit of <laughs> Millie sweating herself behind the camera, I obviously love my highlighter. I want to be seen from the moon. Now I do um, have quite a few here to show you. There's this MAC one, uh, which is the Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'll show it you, it is quite a goldy color. And then what I do is I just sweep that exactly on my cheekbones, nose, top of my lip. So that's quite a browny colour, which can, when you're on holiday and it's summer, it's fine. But then, I want a bit more like gold. So I use a different, I use a couple. Becca and um, Champagne Pop, which I love. I also like in the Masca Beyond Powder, the OMG highlighter. And then I've also recently purchased, whilst in Vegas, the Pat McGrath highlighter so this one I'm going to show you today I'm going to feature the gold in the middle and then I just again tops of my cheekbones my nose that is where the highlight comes from then the next product I use is blusher my favorite is the NARS orgasm um, but I absolutely love it so I just literally get that a little brush and I pop that, give a bit of a smile, literally on the apples of my cheeks. And it just gives a very subtle, subtle rosiness. Um, I'll just, we'll just touch on the, the brush I use also, is also a Zoeva one for my highlighter. And it's number 127 Lux Sheer Cheek. It's got a slight slant to it and that's what I use to apply my highlighter with. And then my br blusher, I use a MAC one. I can't even see that, 120 uh, for my blusher. The next thing I do is my eyes. So I know some professionals do their eyes first. 
um, but I just, this is the process that I do, so I am showing you exactly how I apply my makeup. Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette is what I use. So I just really like this because for traveling when I'm all over the place, it's got like day looks, but it's also got looks that I can take through to the evening. So for my day look, which is what I'm showing you today, I start with Golden Okra, which is this color here, which you can probably see because it's gone down, and a bit of Tempura. And that is what I use as the base of my eyeshadow. And I literally, I have Zoeva brush, uh, 142, which is actually a concealer blush or blusher brush, but I use it for this. And I literally just take that all over my lid. I then use a little Bobbi Brown brush, which is the eyeliner brush, but it's nice and thin. And I take Cypress Umber. I can't even name it that. So yeah, Cypress Umber. And I basically draw the line across my eyeline of a darker because I've got such blue eyes I need a bit of depth to make them pop and I don't really want to wear eyeliner underneath my eye on my waterline every day and I do that more for going out in an evening so during a day the day look when I'm personal shopping with clients or wardrobes then I will do this look is uh, antique bronze which is like a little bit lighter than this just dab it and I then take it and just blend it in slightly into my eye lid. Again, I am no professional at doing makeup. I'm just showing you the way I do mine in the morning when I'm running around like a headless chicken. And then I take the other side, the bigger brush, and then tempura, which is the same, the slightly lighter color and I basically blend it in so there's no lines. So once I've obviously done my eyeshadow, I'll next apply eyeliner and I use, I swear by this bad boy, Guerlain eyeliner, uh, the long lasting by phase it's called and I have number one, which is just the black noir. So once my eyeliner is on, I then use my mascara, and again, I always go back to it. The Yves Saint Laurent false lash effect in the gold tube. I don't wear waterproof because I find it really difficult to take off. I find it pulls my eyelashes out. So I just swear by this one. Again, it's a product that I've used for years. I've tried loads of different mascaras, loads. I do like Lancome. Um, I recently bought the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It wasn't better than sex. <laughs> so I just take the brush and apply it and then I kind of like roll it along my eyelash and up and I find that it separates them nicely, it gives them length and then what I do is I then apply my lipstick and once I've applied my lipstick, I then give them a second coat to give them a bit more volume. So I always finish off my face by doing my lips. And the lip liner I will start with is Spice by MAC. And obviously, my lips are real. I don't have filler in them. Now I find that the spice can be quite dark. So then what I do is get, you can tell I've nearly used it all. Uh, it's an Urban Decay. And I just go over. I have 50 million nude lipsticks. And do you know what? Depending on the day, I just wear uh, MAC. One of my go-to's is Flesh Pot, and I'll put that on. And then the other one I use is Myth. And that gives me my go-to nude lip. And then I also love Tom Ford, uh, that's Naked Ambition. Blush Nude, Alexander, they're my three favourite nude lipsticks, so I'll put one of those on for you. 
and the other one I also love is the Hourglass and it's called Femme Nude and that is number one. Yeah, a nice nude to use too. So yeah, I basically got two lip liners and three nude lips on to give me this colour. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video, the finished look, as you will agree, I think far better than when I very first started the video. Um, and I apologise now for the, the, the way I apply my makeup, the quickness, the way I just kind of do shove it on. There is no kind of thought and logic that goes into it, but you all wanted to see the way that I applied my makeup and what products I use. So there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you very much for your time and your patience. Bye.